Today we'll be learning on how we can solve quadratic equations. So what's a quadratic equation? A quadratic equation is an equation where you have x as the variable and it has the second power. So anything which you see with x power 2 is a quadratic equation. And this only applies to things which have x power 2. Suppose if you have x power 3, that will not be a quadratic equation. That will actually be a polynomial, which we'll be discussing in the later videos. So if you have anything with x power 2, you have a quadratic equation. Now, let me give you an example of a quadratic equation. x squared plus 2x plus 1. So a quadratic equation must have the highest power of x as power 2, which is the same in this case. Then you can have power 1 or even power 0. Alternatively, you can also have a quadratic equation like x squared plus 1 or just x squared plus 2x. So it doesn't really matter as to how we write a quadratic equation. As long as the highest power of x is power 2, it's a quadratic equation. Now, we may also be asked to solve quadratic equations. So there are actually three methods or three, three ways you can use to solve a quadratic equation. The first one is the trial and error method. Um, it can also be called as factorization. The second one is the quadratic formula. So there's a formula that is actually used to solve this quadratic equation. And uh, the third one is completing the square. So we're going to do all of these three um, in much more detail. And then you'll be able to solve any type of quadratic equation using any of these three methods. So let's start with the uh, trial and error or the factorization method. So this is the trial and error method. We will be looking at the question x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 and we are asked to solve for x. So using the factorization method, you need to actually get two factors which multiply to give you minus 10 and which add up to give you plus 3. Let me explain what I mean by this. So you have the PSF or the factorization method. P stands for product, S stands for sum, and F stands for the factors. So you need to get two numbers which multiply to give you minus 10, and you need to take into account this minus sign, and you need two numbers that add to give you plus three, and these two numbers must be the same. So here, this is where the trial and error aspect comes in. You need to take any number, and then you multiply it, you see if it's a factor of 10 and if it adds up to give you 3. That's where the trial and error comes in. So let's start with something like um, 10 and 1. 10 and 1, if you multiply them, they give you 10, but you're looking for minus 10. So suppose if you have minus 10 and 1, so if you multiply them, you get minus 10. But if you add them, you get minus 9. That doesn't work. Alternatively, you could have 10 and minus 1. You multiply them, but you get minus 10. And if you add them, you get 9. So none of these work. Let's check something else. Another factor of 10 is 5. So 5 and 2. So let's see 5 times 2 gives you 10 but you're looking for minus 10. So suppose if you have minus 5 and 2. So minus 5 times 2 gives you minus 10 which is what we're looking for. But minus 5 plus 2 gives you minus 3. You're looking for plus 3. What if we do 5 and minus 2? If you multiply these two things you get minus 10. And if you add them, you get plus 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. So this is the one that works. So this is where the trial and error aspect is shown. You try out different combinations and you see which one works best. So we've seen that 5 and minus 2 work best. So for the P or the product, you'll have 5 comma minus 2, which is equal to minus 10. Sum is going to be just 3 from your plus 3 minus 10. And the factors are going to be 5 and minus 2. Actually, this was supposed to come here. So this is what we'll be working with. So 5 and minus 2 are our answers. So then we can simplify this as writing x squared plus 5x minus 2x minus 10 is equal to 0. So notice that whatever you get over here, you need to substitute it instead of the middle term or the 3. So this is how I've substituted it. I've substituted 3 as 5x minus 2x. This is a format you need to remember. After that, we can uh, start collecting like terms. The way how we do this is we're going to group the first two terms and the last two terms. Notice the minus will be there. So 
when you're collecting like terms let's see which one is for this one so x is common so we have x into x plus 5 because x times x gives you x squared and x times 5 gives you 5x then you have the minus 2 and minus 10 so what's common here the minus is common and 2 is also common because 2 and 10 they are with factors of 5 so then x comes here and plus 5 also comes here so minus 2 times x gives you minus 2x and minus 2 times 5 gives you minus 10 one thing you need to note the brackets which you get must always be the same so this bracket and this bracket must always be the same in order to you in order for you to use the trial and error method so let's now simplify this because this bracket and this bracket is the same we can write it as one product or one thing and the remaining thing or the terms which are outside of the bracket we can use that to write as another bracket now always remember that because these brackets are the same I'm able to use this rule this two bracket um, I'm combining them and I'm giving and I'm getting this and whatever is remaining outside the x minus 2 I'm putting that as another bracket so this is how I'm able to obtain this and and this is something you should remember so that you avoid making mistakes in combining like terms so another thing you need to remember is when you have a quadratic equation equal to 0 and you have factorized it then you can actually equate each bracket to 0 so in this case x plus 5 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is also equal to 0 remember there's a set of rules you need to remember and the format in order for you to solve this equation so from here x is equal to minus 5 and x is equal to 2 so therefore these are the solutions um, for our quadratic equation through the use of the trial and error method